Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafting with Lee Marie. Um, this is my very first video, and I decided to go ahead and do an unboxing of a diamond painting by Dreamer Designs, and this is their version 2.0. Um, they are one of the companies that have premium kits um, that are typically better than what you would find um, on most stores like AliExpress and Everyday e -deals. Um And so they really try to make sure they're giving you a product that is a step above. Right off the bat, you can notice that the box has like this iridescent finish on it. Um, very pretty. Um, and they've got some features on their side. And so sparkling square diamonds with AB accents. So almost every single one of their kits, especially their new ones, have AB diamonds on them. Um, one thing that's really nice about this company is that they're legally licensed images, which means that the uh, artist gets paid for their work. And they have full drill. So the diamonds are on the entire canvas. They have their lifetime warranty plus their uh-oh insurance. So if you make a mistake, you spill some drills, your kids get into them, you're covered. Um, I have seen some very interesting things on social media where children and pets are involved. And so that uh-oh policy, that uh-oh insurance is really great. Um, and lifetime warranty. So this, this canvas should stay great for as long as you're alive. <laughs> on the back here, you can see um, how it works and some of the contents that make this kit stand out a bit more than the others. So it's got their um, Dreamer Cloud Canvas, pre-sorted diamond pieces. It comes with two stylus pens with multiple head options. I personally really like that um, because I like to use the multi-placer and a single placer. It comes with two white diamond trays, two wax caddies, a diamond straightening tool, black diamond tweezers, extra Ziploc bags, a reusable toolkit, reusable carry bag, and an instructional guide. Now, if you're brand new to diamond painting, I would not start with a canvas quite this big. I would try to find something a bit smaller. Um, this particular canvas is a 80 by 60 centimeters, so it is quite large. Um, and so I will go ahead and show you the image now. So this one is Isle of Palms by Chuck Pinson. And so, like I said, it's an 80 by 60 centimeters, um, which means it's 31 and a half inches by 23.6 inches. So that is quite large. Um, for me, this will actually be the largest canvas I have completed so far. So I'm actually really excited about this one. I love Chuck Pinson's work. I haven't had a chance to do his work yet. Um, I have done a few Dreamer designs before. Um, I did Over the Rainbow and I also did Rainbow Stallion. Um, and they were both beautiful. And uh, I know Over the Rainbow was my first square. And so it was really nice to work on that one. So I am gonna go ahead and crack this painting open and show you guys what's inside. And so I've already taken the protective film off, but I haven't really looked at this canvas yet. Um, so we will be looking at it together for the first time. And so when you open it, what you see, oh, I think I opened the wrong end. No, I didn't. Maybe I did. Anyways, okay. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out. This one is a big canvas, so it is really wedged in there. So this is, get some of the trash off that came out. <laughs> so this is the reusable carry bag if you so choose to want to use it. It's nice, it's kind of the material like those grocery bags. Um, it's got a nice straw string. And then you open it and you can see that you have your stuff inside. And so we have our canvas, which is tied with a really pretty bow. And then, whew, diamonds and our toolkit. Now I am gonna go ahead and show you guys, I'll put the diamonds to the side. I'm gonna show you this particular toolkit just because there are some unique things in it that most kits don't come with. And so like they said, oops, you have your two trays, nice trays that even have the logo on them. 
Um, you get two squishies. Um, let me pull some more stuff out here. You can see you have your two wax caddies. Um, and what I like is that they come in hard cases. One thing I will warn you guys, because I didn't know this when I did my first one, is that it does have a protective coating on both sides. So don't just try to stab in there with your pen right away. It will not turn out very well. Okay. And then um, you have your tips. So you can't, you get two single place tips right there. And they're kind of like this pretty glitter pen. So it's a little nicer than the pink pen you get with the kit. Then you get these tips. And so you have your six placer and your three placer. Um, and so I personally, I started off with my three placer. I liked it, but as I did more and more diamond paintings, I really like my six placer. And you get your straightener tool, which is really, really handy when you're working on square paintings because it can be really, really hard to keep your lines straight. Um, you've got these really nice scissors. And so these ones are really pointy. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep them away from your kids. Um, and you're gonna wanna make sure you keep your cap on them um, so your kids don't get hurt. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of that back in there real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and dive into this canvas. Um, this canvas is gorgeous, I'm sure, because the other ones I've had from Dreamer Designs is just absolutely beautiful. So they have this beautiful, beautiful little ribbon that comes with it, gives it that extra touch. The only other company I've seen that has done that is Ever Moment. I haven't actually bought an Ever Moment yet, but that is one company. So I wanna make sure I open this from the right side. And so we're gonna go ahead and open this and a bunch of stuff comes out with it. And so here is the canvas. And so one way, as you can see, it kind of rolls back into itself. One trick that you can do to help yourself get it a little flat is you can undo the canvas a little bit, whoopsie, and then smooth it back. And that will, pardon me being in the shot a little bit there, that will help it lay flatter, a little bit quicker. Um, for something that's just coming out of the box, it's totally fine. And you guys might be able to see some of the spots here. That is not rivers on the canvas, that is just from the poured glue. Um, so don't think that it's rivers, it really isn't. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna look at the clarity of our images. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put my little pencil thing, pencil box on there. And so the image, the, um, the symbols look really, really good. One thing I can say is when I had my rainbow stallion, there was a lot of bright colors with it. It was really hard to see, but this one is actually really mellow and really chill. I don't think I'll have a big problem seeing the symbols are getting worn out by them. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can see them better. So as you guys can see, really nice clear symbols and nothing looks blurry. Um, so that's really, really great. Everything looks really clear. Um, I'm sure you guys noticed, let me zoom out again. I'm sorry. Oops, a little too far. Um, on the side here, you have your key. Um, but it also comes separate right here on this. And this is actually a sticker. And so there are 55 colors in this one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go slow so you guys can see these. So 55 colors. So there are 55 colors on this. You can use the sticker to help you de-kit, or not de-kit, but kit up your diamonds. Um, I personally don't use them, except on the baggies. Um, I tend to use the keys on the side. 
And so I will use this when I de-kit my kit for my extra diamonds. I'm gonna grab some water here. Now the other thing that comes in, it's all rolled up here, is there are instructions on how to diamond paint if you've never diamond painted before. And then on the other side is uh, join the dreamer community and so they have their Instagram and their Facebook group and you only get access to this Facebook group once you have ordered from them um, so I have I am a member of this group and it's actually kind of great they have exclusive discounts in there bi-weekly giveaways diamond painting tips and tricks and like-minded friends and I found that group to be very supportive very kind so I am going to go ahead and put this canvas away now. Um, I am gonna go ahead and roll it back up. It is a poured glue, so you can roll it back up. It's not a big deal. Um, you wouldn't wanna do it with a double-sided tape. I haven't actually done a double-sided tape, but from what I've heard, that's when you can cause the rivers and the valleys, or the rivers and the bubbles in your canvas. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into these drills. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back in so you guys can see. All righty. So this is the largest kit I've ever had. Comes with two packs of diamonds. It does come with AB diamonds. I'm not sure which ones. Um, so this one doesn't have a name on it, but this one does, it says Isle of the Palms. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dig into this one first because it looks like it starts here on the key. And so one thing I really do like about this particular um, canvas or this particular company is that their diamonds, when you pull them out, they are in order on your um, key. So it makes kitting this up really fast and really easy. And so every single one of their bags, whoa, there is a lot of these. Every single one of their bags has their logo on it. And you can see we have this really nice beige, really nice red. Oh, look at that pink. That is really pretty. And I kind of like these. Um, when I did Rainbow Stallion, the colors were really, really vibrant. And these are a little more muted. So this is really nice. Oh, that's a nice dark green. I bet that's up in the trees. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. I really like that color. And so that's the first 10 colors there. Um, let's go ahead and find, here we go. Number 11. So lots of purples and greens, it's looking like. You got some runaways here. Some one to be with their friends. And as you can see, and one thing I've noticed with this company, oh, get rid of that trash, is that they do give you plenty of diamonds. I've never ran out. Um, so that's been nice. Um, let's see. Yep. There you go. Lots of just pinks, purples, corals, blues. It's just exactly what you would expect to see. Oh, look at that color. That is number 26. So that's uh, DMC 915. And so all of these have the DMC. These are, ooh, two packs of 932. That's the first double pack, so that's nice. Um, so all of these come with their DMC. And if you're one of those people that really don't like the crinkly, I'm sorry, I'll be quick. Okay, so here we go. All right. So we're starting with number 29 here. So we've got nice dark greens and browns. These are, this is kind of like a brownish gray here. This is gray. More purple, so many shades of purples. And grays and pinks. Oh, very nice. I'm very excited about this kit. I like the color scheme. It's really pretty. Okay, let's see what number is this. Okay. Oh. 
I got my diamonds backwards here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is, almost looks black, but it's a really dark brown. It's number 3371. That's a really nice salmon color right there. Oh, very pretty. I haven't hit the AB diamonds. They usually do their AB diamonds at the end. Some other companies will do their AB diamonds at the beginning. They do them at the end. Just kind of nice. It allows you to kind of work your wax down so it doesn't pull out when you're doing them. All right, here we go. Last strip of diamonds. So we've got nice, pretty colors here. Wow, very pretty. Oh, there's two of these. So two of three, eight, six, one. Nice beige here. And then these are your ABs. And so make sure you guys can see that. ABs have this iridescent coating on them. Um, it just makes them sparkle a little bit more. So very, very pretty. So um, that's the kit for you. Um, a kit like this is honestly going to take me probably three or four weeks because it's so large. Um, and like I said, I've never worked on one this big before. So sh this one will definitely be quite a challenge. And you can see there's some really heavy, let me go ahead and zoom out again so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see that there's some really heavy confetti areas. And confetti is where there's lots of different color changes. Um, and that is one thing that Dreamer Designs really tries to make sure their prints have is lots of confetti. So if you're a confetti lover, make sure you check them out. Um, I know most of their images are out of stock right now. Um, however, they are going to have a restock in July, which is coming up really, really soon. So if you want to see their restock, you can follow them on their Facebook page and see um, when they upload. Um, hopefully they get enough with everything with COVID-19 and just shipping and travel and just countries shutting down because of this virus. It's been really hard for these diamond painting companies to keep stuff in stock because so many people are doing diamond painting now. Um, and I can't blame them. I started in March when um, the governor of my state, I live in the United States, shut my uh, shut my school down. I'm a teacher. <laughs> and shut my school down. And I'm like, oh, man. So I uh, got into diamond painting in my spare time. And it just kind of helped me cope. So it's really relaxing. So I am going to sign off here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did go ahead and hit the like button and maybe even subscribe um, to see more videos. Um, I know I'm just starting this channel, but I'm really excited. I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel with diamond painting for a long time um, since I started, just because I've been watching so much YouTube. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Have a good night or day, wherever you're at. <laughs> Bye guys.